Uh, hey everybody, um, Steve Bassey here. I uh, wanted to talk to you a bit about um, you know, the alpha release we just did, what's in there, and then uh, answer any questions that you guys, guys may have in terms of how things are going. Um, so yeah, with that I'll get into it. Uh, we just re released the alpha. Um, there's a few parts to it. There's, uh, there's this one called Polyswarm D. And the idea behind it is to basically make interaction with uh, security experts, arbiters, uh, sort of the supply side components of, of Polyswarm very easy. And the way it does that is sort of um, makes it such that uh, developers or security experts don't really have to deal with the mechanics behind the Polyswarm uh, smart contracts, um, behind the um, uh, the way artifacts are submitted to, um, or potential malware is submitted to the Polyswarm network. So we tried to really make that simple and accessible towards this goal of onboarding more experts and more expertise into the platform. And real simply and real directly, um, some of the things we put in there are a, uh, are this, uh, we packaged it all into a Docker container. Um, there is a REST API, which means um, uh, security experts can use a standard um, HTTP or web interface basically to access things like posting a bounty or looking for bounties that have been posted and also posting their assertions to there. Um, what we're working on now in beta is basically taking uh, the ideas that we have there um, as well as this idea of developing offer channels and uh, doing all that in the beta along with the algorithmic um, uh, sort of complexity we'll need to automatically select arbiters and also some of the uh, some of the complexity we'll need to deal with in order to uh, for security experts to figure out how they want to stake their assertions. Um, if you remember from the white paper, staking your assertion means uh, how much confidence you have in an assertion that something is or is not uh, malicious and it's kind of key to making our marketplace work. Um, so we're very excited about that. We've been working very hard developing the economics behind the marketplace. Um, you know, my entire team has been in, a, in, a, in a, just a heads down development mode. Um, so I'm happy to sort of address any questions that come up uh, while I'm in this AMA. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of want to address some uh, ones that have been posed to us uh, over time. We already talked about how Polyswarm D is, is structured. Um, and a little bit more, if you're an expert who wanted to perhaps write a micro engine to start operating on the Polyswarm uh, infrastructure, uh, you would do the following. You would basically go grab a copy of Polyswarm D with a Docker container, and you would write your micro engine to interact with Polyswarm D. And what that means is you basically take your micro engine and allow it to receive artifacts that are coming across uh, the Polyswarm network. Um, that people are asking whether or not this file or this URL is malicious and your micro engine has the chance to respond based on some of your internal logic. Uh, so that's, um, you know, Polyswarm D is a great place to, to start. Uh, there's also a, um, an example uh, of a micro engine uh, that leverages the open source antivirus engine Clam AV. Um, that's also on our GitHub. Go ahead and check that out. I believe it's called micro engine hyphen Clam AV. Uh, and we've got a, a fair other, or uh, also a, um, a GUI and a user experience piece that allows someone to post bounties if you're curious to mess with that. All of that's on our GitHub. Uh, happy to answer questions online or in the usual channels about it. Um, the next question was, does the alpha already uh, pay out experts? So put another way, um, can experts earn nectar when they interact with the, uh, with the marketplace? Uh, the answer to that is yes, um, but within Polyswarm, there's not a whole lot of um, people submitting malicious files yet. Um, so we are, uh, and, and to answer another question that came in, how many experts are already on board in the alpha? I haven't checked numbers as of this morning, but we're not seeing much traffic um, in terms of number of experts on board into the alpha. Uh, the reason for that is A, it just launched, and B, there's also um, uh, we got to give experts time to basically uh, integrate, test out, build their micro engines in the first place. And to that, um, to that end, there is a uh, there is a way in Polyswarm D that's well documented to basically change it into test net configuration. And what that means is is experts can sit down and develop their micro engines, and it's um, uh, you know they can do it with uh, with uh, fake um, nectar or something called rector. 
uh, and, and sort of test out everything before they go live. So I want to set the community's expectations, right? Software development is not a, a fast process, right? So we're expecting, you know, many, many weeks or, or even months before, uh, before we start seeing experts on the, mar the marketplace with production micro engines, right? Um, this isn't something that's, uh, that's, uh, that happens overnight and we're working diligently on it. Let's see, um, other questions we had. Um, someone was asking a couple days ago, what's the best way to become a respected arbiter in the market and build a reputation? So I'll make it very clear. We are still building up in beta and in future releases our arbiter selection algorithm. And uh, we've already selected some you know, um, early, early participants to help us with that arbiter role. So it's not just us doing it. Uh, and we think in general, this idea of playing fair and being transparent about how you're making arbitration decisions and automating that arbitration will go a long way to helping us um, sort of identify and select respected arbiters. So if you're already interested in that role, uh, feel free to get in touch or better yet, take a look at Polyswarm D and kind of start thinking about how you might implement an arbitration role. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, partnership announcements coming up. Um, so somebody asked about partnership announcements. We don't have anything at this time. Uh, we are working on the beta product, Full speed, Steam Ahead, and one of the reasons for that is it makes it a lot easier to explain where we believe uh, partners fit in the network and we have code to demonstrate to them. So beyond our existing partnerships with Vector35, the team behind Binary Ninja, and Bremer Computer Security, uh, who are consists of some of the uh, core developers of Cuckoo Sandbox. Um, we are, uh, you know, actively building the product so that we can, uh, you know, sort of go to partners with, uh, with a, an idea of how they fit into the product. Um, can anyone with security knowledge attempt to participate and what would be a good starting point? Uh, again, yes, anybody with security knowledge or without security knowledge, maybe with data science knowledge and thinks they might be able to extract features about known malware and classify potentially new malware, um, you're welcome to take a look at Polysform D. Um, and there's also a blog post about how these things fit together that we did alongside of the alpha release. Um, and there's also the Clam AV micro engine um, that, uh, that gets things going. How was the feedback from Hack in the Box conference? Uh, the feedback was generally good. You know, we sort of um, uh, ran a few surveys and um, also did a, a contest surrounding, um, uh, you know, sort of looking at smart contract security vulnerabilities and skills we thought may, might be useful to attract security expertise. So I'd say the feedback was good, but we haven't seen the full development out of that, uh, out of that feedback. Okay, so uh, what else? Um, Robin in chat, do you see any troubles or difficulties ahead? I mean, it's a, uh, you know, software development, so there's also always challenges, right? But no, I don't see any apparent difficulties ahead, right? Um, you know, we got the alpha out on time. Uh, progress on the beta is going uh, pretty well. And, um, you know, we think from a software perspective and from an onboarding security experts, we're about where we need to be. I think that, uh, you know, a lot of people in the uh, in this world sort of expect the um, building the network effects and building two sided marketplace to come overnight. It does not. Um, but we are sort of actively, uh, you know, you see our attendance at conferences and, um, you know, to actively sort of getting a place for security experts to contribute in the product and making it very, very easy to onboard new security experts. These are all things we're doing right now. Are you targeting security experts directly or waiting for them to get the code and build the micro engines directly? Uh, let's see, so there's another question from chat. Um, we're doing a bit of both, right? I wouldn't say that we're engaging headhunters or, uh, or uh, you know, sort of um, using recruiters to go out and look for security experts. Um, we're more going to conferences. We are making it very easy for people to access and develop on top of Polyswarm and we are sort of developing the APIs that allow people to do this easily um, so that when we reach out to security experts at places like conferences, we'll be at the big summer conferences, Black Hat, DEF CON, all that stuff. Um, and when we ask them to hook in micro engines, their sort of path is, is direct there. Uh, so that process is ongoing and evolving. 
Um, but you know, if you're an interested security expert, we've had some get in touch. Um, you know, we're happy to hear feedback on our initial releases and, and happy to uh, have them try to develop micro engines on top of it. Let's see. So I think we only have a few more minutes scheduled for this AMA. Um, I want to sort of, uh, you know, follow up with a, uh, a sneak peek on what's next in beta. Um, give a shout out to all the, uh, the, the community and the people who've gotten in touch with, um, uh, with emails and on Telegram. Um, really, really appreciate your ongoing, ongoing support. We are basically head down on product development and, uh, and sort of uh, onboarding security expertise. Um, beta, for what we have planned in beta, the next big feature I'd say is offer channels, right? This idea is that um, you can interact secure, with security um, experts directly and that they will be able to, uh, uh, to sort of respond over a private channel. Um, we are doing that right now. Uh, we've started with a subset of Raiden. Um, you know, the, the Raiden code base, um, as far as it's come, was a little bit too um, different from what we wanted to do. So we uh, ended up actually doing our own implementation of micro channels. Uh, or sorry, offer channels, uh, borrowing kind of heavily from concepts set up there. So expect to see that in the beta. Um, we're tracking well for that. And, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off now, but happy to hear any questions or anything else on Telegram. Thank you, guys.